Today we have a totally pointless episode of Dessert Person that I thought was gonna be really fun and then I immediately regretted it and now I wish we weren't doing it. But I'm gonna make a gingerbread house, which in theory is something that I really wanna do because I think it's kind of fun and it's like crafting. But I also realized last night as I had just gingerbread everywhere, it was late, I was tired, that it actually goes against everything I've said in videos so far, which is like, I don't wanna do things that are fussy. I don't wanna only decorate things that don't taste good. And that's exactly what I'm doing today. Two hours. I got two, and I'm gonna do it in two hours. Not because I think the time challenge is gonna like make a better video, but because I just don't wanna spend any more time on this. the full time allotment. Two hours, go. Last night I baked some gingerbread. I used a recipe from Bill Yassis, famously former White House pastry chef for gingerbread and I baked it and then I dried it. How what? did the vlog go? The vlog, I vlogged for, <laughs> I don't know if what I was doing was vlogging, but I talked to the camera for like 20 seconds which felt really weird and I didn't like it so I stopped. I forgot that I was gonna vlog this and it's, 11, 11, I'm regretting this whole thing. I'm just starting to bake the gingerbread. It needs to dry for like way longer than I have, but I'm pretty miserable. So that's vlogging and then I did it. My vision for the house was like Tudor style English cottage. I've had to scale way back. That was very ambitious. And now I'm just going for somewhat sound structure with some kind of like decoration on it. Do yeah. you have a turntableable thing so that you can move it and it makes it? Cal, I do. That is a great question. I do, but I, I would demand that you pause the time. I'm not spending, I'm not wasting my two hours on. <laughs> I got it. It's not the right time of the year to be making gingerbread, so I didn't find like candy canes, peppermint candies. There was a lot I didn't find. But I got some Cinnamon Toast Crunch because I have a vision for my roof. Some pretzel sticks, finely shredded coconut that I thought I would use as snow. Some licorice and some wafer cookies that I think will be good for shutters. <laughs> Typically, what you use for constructing a gingerbread house is royal icing, so I'm gonna make some. So I'm adding a couple of egg whites to a bowl. And I'm gonna need a lot, so I'm gonna do like maybe three or four egg whites. And I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. Often with royal icing, you have the addition of lemon juice. I'm not gonna bother here. And I'm going to I find this to be aggressive and menacing in the back of this box. It's stressing me out. All right, so I'm gonna start by beating my egg whites and just breaking up the solid parts. And I have confectioner sugar. And I'm not doing measured amounts because I just go by consistency. And basically the idea is that the combination of egg whites and confectioner sugar makes an icing that acts like glue. It dries really, really hard, but it just keeps everything together. So I'm gonna add like a couple of cups. When was the last time you made a gingerbread? I could not tell you, I don't even know. Maybe like when I was a kid. But I feel like a lot of the baking that I do is skill building for gingerbread, like making cookies, making royal icing. Making a gingerbread house is really not, like it involves baking, but it's a craft project. And that's what got me excited about this idea from the beginning. It's about making something fun to look at and decorative. Which is generally like not how I spend my time, but I like a, I like a craft project every now and then. I think it's actually better to have it be a little too thick than too thin. It's been one hour and you still don't have a It's structure. not been an hour. <laughs> Stop it. Stop messing with me. Thanks for stressing me out. Okay, I'm gonna set aside some royal icing for other kinds of decoration. Then I'm gonna put the rest into a piping bag. I'm not even gonna taste it. I know what it tastes like. It just tastes like pure sugar, which is not to say that bad, but it's not like delicious. You didn't add any vanilla extract or anything? Nope, we're not going for taste here. I have a feeling I have to make more of this. So I just dabbed a bit of royal icing on my base. 
This is my board for building. I think I'm gonna start with two sides. Um, I'm winging it. There's probably a better way to do this, by the way. You have a, a gingerbread house that's like your favorite. I'm not really going for one particular style, I suppose. Do you have a favorite? Um. Oh, I mean, Martha Stewart, I think, has had like unbelievable gingerbread houses. And that is like just completely next level. Oh, sh I didn't glue them to the base. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. <laughs> Earlier next time, Cal. <laughs> I just assumed you had a plan. Don't assume. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm make sure to glue it to my base. I'm happy with the consistency of the royal icing though, so that's good. The door looks good. Thank you. Good archway. Thank you. So when I was doing the gingerbread, rather than cutting out and then baking, I baked it and I, I rolled it into slabs. I made a stencil out of computer paper. I scored along the stencil, baked, and then when it came out, I retraced, and that made like really clean, sharp edges. So that was definitely a good call, and I'm happy that I did that. I'm really good at caulking. I was gonna say. I caulked our bath. <laughs> Can we have the AC on during this? I can't work under these conditions. How are we on time? You are a quarter of the way done. No way. It has not been 30 minutes. You're right. It's been 32 minutes. Very grumpy about this. All right, I'm feeling like I'm not going to be able to do much more than this in terms of quantity. I want to try to get like a thin layer of sugar. And in fact, I want it to be flat, so I'm probably better off doing it directly on here. That maybe wasn't disastrous, but we'll see what happens with that. I'm gonna pivot to the front door, which I wanted to do as a red door. I have this cinnamon sugar, this red cinnamon sugar, and I'm gonna use a little bit of my royal icing, the stuff that I reserved, and I'm gonna thin it out, and I'm gonna do a technique called flooding. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So I need to thin out some royal icing. And I want this to be pourable. So when you flood a cookie, you really want royal icing with two different textures. You want a thinner royal icing to like color in the lines, and then you want a thicker royal icing to make a sharp border to contain everything else. So this actually looks good to me. That's pourable. This is not a very fine point on this, but I think that I have enough definition that I can outline it. I should have gone with a finer point. This is never gonna dry, by the way. Flooded cookies really need like 24 hours to fully dry. Also, when you flood, you should really let the line dry first. This is, this is irresponsible decorating. All right, so before that dries, I'm going to cover it in this sugar. <gasps> it's overflowing. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Do I have to start over on my, oh my God. Look what's happening. You know what you can do with royal icing? Turning over. Oh God, this was going really well. And I was like, this is going well. So don't do that. Don't do it like that. I'm gonna get out another piping bag. Go ahead and always test your line. It's too small. It's better. Yeah, so generally with piping, you don't wanna actually make contact between the tip of the bag and the thing you're piping on. You wanna let the line you want to have a little bit of space so the line falls onto the surface. You're not really dragging it. I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna learn my lesson and let that dry. I'm gonna pivot back to my glass. And I'm gonna to try to break it along the score marks. Mm, it's so brittle that I feel like, oops, like even setting it down abruptly can kind of break it. Question is, is this going to How's it look? Oh yeah, it looks great. I think it has to sit behind it. Hey, this is, it? I don't know, Vince. I'm gonna let these get even cooler before I even attempt to, um, the problem is that the royal icing has moisture in it and moisture plus caramel equals sliding sugar. So 
I gotta figure out some way to really attach it on there. In the meantime, let me pivot back to my door. A thinner layer of icing for sure this time. Oh my God, this is a little unwieldy. So I'm gonna let it dry briefly and then add my sprinkles or maybe I'm just gonna do the sprinkles now. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, it's doing it again. Oh here, let's try to <gasps> join on that side now. Jeez. The, <laughs> the looking at your timer is stressing me out, Denny. Well, we have a big milestone coming up. No, I don't like hearing that. We're gonna be here all night, you guys. I'm gonna keep going tonight. You're gonna come back tomorrow. It'll be all done. Also the fake cinnamon smell of these is giving me a stomach ache. I'm gonna let that dry. So for the doorknob. Claire, we're about halfway. How are you feeling? I'm feeling behind. I'm feeling stressed out. I feel like I'm not going to realize my vision of my English Tudor style cottage. I'm actually going to pivot to my roof panels and try to do my shingling, which is going to take a long time. So I have my cinnamon toast crunch here, which I was gonna use as basically like um, shingles on the roof. I have not had cinnamon toast crunch in so long. It used to be one of my favorite cereals. Oh, uh, it's so good. My plan is to basically go row by row, starting down here, apply icing and start to add my shingles. Which way is the top, which way is the bottom? This is the top of the roof where the angle is, and this is the bottom. All right, fortunately this is going a little faster than I thought it would. Still gonna be here for a minute. The challenge is finding like flat enough pieces. I basically wanna dab some of the hot caramel into the corners of each panel and then, oh God, smoking. Ow! Oh my God, it's so hot. And then what I might have to do is go back and like cock it sort of. <gasps> you guys didn't tell me that I was a big gap. You're a mile away. Oh no, the window's open. I don't want the window to be open. I can't get it out, it's stuck in there. Well, now there's gonna be like only one angle for this house. Claire. What? For 10 additional minutes. Uh-huh. And I want to say the 1940s. Oh, God. A Christmas-related movie. It's a Wonderful Life. <laughs> One of the actors goes on to win Best Supporting Actor for his performance of Kris Kringle. What is that movie? I don't know. I don't watch Christmas movies. Uh, is this... Are you giving me, like, an easy one? Because I don't know the answer. I don't know. Who's Kris Kringle? Is it not It's a Wonderful Life? Miracle on 34th Street. You win. Is that the answer? Mm -hmm. Oh, I get 10 extra minutes. How much time do I have left? You currently have 26, but now you have 36, because that's how it works. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm just trying to melt the rest of this caramel and uh, make two more little window panes for the rest of the house. Then the roof goes on, then the door goes on, then we do the window boxes, then we do the shutters, then we make some snow. So now I'm focusing on roof assembly. And you can see on this side, I shaved down at an angle this side because I need the roof to lie flush. And if it doesn't, then there's gonna be a gap and then I'm afraid that the gap is going to just make it less stable. I need a lot, I need like woodworking tools. I don't know, I guess you can make gingerbread really dry, which helps. My roof is not quite, oh no. Oh well, it's nothing a little royal ice I can't fix. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to attach my first roof panel. And I'm definitely gonna to have to give it a support as it dries. 15 minutes. Mm, Vince. 15 minutes, I'm gonna have a roof on. Well, it's not exactly straight, but I think it's at least good enough that I can fit the other side of the roof on. Fingers crossed, I just have to put a ton of royal icing on it. 
So now I'm getting my licorice out because I want to see if I can make some kind of a, you know, window box type contraption to sit in front of the windows. Look how cute. I'm just not paying attention to it. That's a fake deadline. I'm not paying attention to the time. The timer's going to go off and I'm just going to keep going because who cares? My house is so cute. Look at it. No window would ever have shutters this thin, but I'm going to go for it. I'm not. One minute. It means nothing. <laughs> I'm just going to throw some coconut at it. Call it a day. Oh, the door. Do you think I can take the support off? Oh my god. Oh god. It, ah! Oh my god, loud. Anybody have a, a tea light? Sorry, a sir, votive? Wait, hold on, I'm not done. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> no. Someone just, I'll just throw a match in there. Now is when I get to do the finishing touches, right? After the timer goes off. I mean, honestly, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that, that was what was going to happen. Although, how much would you really want to do for this? After this? Yeah. Oh, you have no idea. Like, I got icicles. I got plants for icicles if, with the royal icing. If you vlogged it and we checked in tomorrow morning. Then I would be allowed to do it. OK. I did the detail on the roof on both sides now. I think it looks a lot better. And now I am going to use some marzipan and some natural green food coloring to make wreaths to go around the little circular window. I made these little wreaths. I'm so tired. I've been doing this for so long. This is the last thing. I made these to go on the windows. I know I said I was done, but it's like two hours later and I'm still working on it. Now, I'm flooding the, the grounds. And I made a little wood pile out of pretzels. Oh no, there it goes. And then I'm just gonna add the coconut snow. And then I'm really done. Ready? All right, truthfully, I spent like seven more hours decorating this last night. When I had to be doing other things, but this is way more fun. Turns out I like doing it a lot more when there's no time pressure. So I'll let me point out some features that I added since we last checked in. I added these little beams over the windows. These are pretzel rods. A front walkway out of pastel sprinkles. I flooded the whole base to add a better snow effect with the coconut on top. Oh, I added the icicles. And then I did a lot of work on the sides of the house. So I added this cereal border right here, plus this little decorative touch here on the top of the roof. I added another row of shingles on the top so that it comes to more of a point. I also am really proud of this. I added a whole star anise inside the like porthole window. This is a marzipan wreath with a little candy there. Along the back, I have more icicles. I have a little pretzel wood, wood pile. That's my favorite feature. Thanks, I love it. I think it's like the cutest thing I've ever made. It does need a chimney, I forgot to make a chimney. Some tips if you are thinking about making your own gingerbread house. So some things that I learned along the way. Definitely cut your gingerbread thick. Make thick slabs. That way there is a nice, flat, like substantial surface for the four sides to stand on as you're assembling it. I rolled my gingerbread probably three eighths of an inch thick and then because of the baking powder, it puffed up even more. So I probably have solid half inch thick walls. Let it dry overnight so it's really brittle and stable. Use a thick royal icing and give it plenty of time to dry. You don't want something thin. It needs to really hold its shape so that you should be able to get these nice peaks just like that. The sky is the limit. Like use whatever candies you like, sprinkles, colored sugar, all of that is great. And then it's just, you know, beyond that, it's all about aesthetics and it's up to you. I'm going to try to do this with a match because we don't have any other kind of light. This is my holder for the match. <laughs> is this gonna work? That's so dark. Okay, the matches are in. Jeez. There's not enough oxygen in it. And it's not like a warm, oh, glowy light. It's beautiful. It's good. Okay. You, you want the fire flicker. Can yeah, you? I like the flicker. We'll add it in post. <laughs> I think editing is very important with gingerbread design, 
It's like, well, if you want to keep going, maybe hold off. Be, I don't want to say less is more, but I think there's a point of diminishing return with the decor. So I'm glad I called it when I did. I really like, besides the flashlight in there, everything is edible. So I like that that was sort of part of the parameters of the project. But um, I like this kind of craft project because it is kind of about problem solving and figuring out how to make it the way you want it to be. And overall, it's extremely charming and cute. And it's sort of a birdhouse, but that's okay. So if you're going to attempt a gingerbread house this year, good luck. Have fun with it. It's kind of a fun opportunity to try a bunch of different candy. I was gonna say steer clear of my my issues. But there's a lot that happened right with this. So as always, thank you for watching Dessert Person and like and subscribe and happy holidays.